good morning everybody so I am now in the kitchen ready to start preparing some orders um, you know I've got a, a few bottles out here obviously for display purposes but I am ready to um, put together people's orders and also about to make a whole new batch because um, this batch here is pretty much done it's gone and I have to make another batch for other orders as well so yes so everybody who's made their orders over the the weekend up until now so last week yes because tomorrow is Friday so in the past week your orders have been prepared and will be shipped out hopefully today if not today it will be shipped out tomorrow so here we go When you need an entire grocery bag <laughs> to put all the orders in guys all your orders are gonna be delivered today okay so I am super uber duper annoyed right now and that is because the post office is closed and all these orders are gonna have to wait until tomorrow to be dispatched now it completely slipped my mind that um places close early and uh, you know when i was putting together all of these things um you know the orders like packaging it and you know putting all the labels on i never thought that you know basically in my mind i was thinking oh yeah the post office closed 5 30 whatever and then while i was doing um the last few of them i was like wait a minute things are closing early so you know whatever like i wonder what time it's gonna close and then i turn up and saw that they closed at two o'clock so they closed just an hour ago i'm annoyed but um, not to worry guys i will be posting out your orders tomorrow So just out having a walk, um, you know, social distancing ain't gonna stop that. <laughs> so yeah, so we're just out enjoying the weather and then I'll be back home. But I'm just getting my daily exercise in since starting my workout program early this year. It requires that I go for, well, do one day cardio. So.
So as you would have seen in the previous clips, I was, my daughter is sleeping. I'm really trying not to wake her up right now because she just woke up and I literally just put her back down and I really, really do not want her to wake up. So I hope you guys can hear me very well. I'm trying to talk as loud as I possibly can without waking her right now. Okay, so as you guys would have seen in the previous clip, the beginning of this video, I was actually preparing some orders from the sale that I had um, for my hair growth oil, which is called Hair We Grow. And this is the oil that I used to grow back my hair after experiencing postpartum alopecia. So as you guys know, I've been documenting my journey, um, you know, with postpartum hair loss. I mean, I've been experiencing postpartum hair loss or I've had experienced postpartum hair loss with all four of my children, um, but I was able to document um, the, well, started documenting um, my third and fourth experiences with postpartum hair loss via YouTube. Now with my second child, I did document that personally and I've got all my notes still from 2015 regarding that. But anyway, since documenting my postpartum hair growth, journey on youtube a lot of you guys back then back in 2017 have been asking me to come out with this oil and sell the oil and i finally had the guts to do it and i started selling it um the very end of 2019 so technically the beginning of 2020 and um i had a sale in march it was a 30 percent off sale and the 30 percent off was due to my children so i decided to come up with the 30 percent off sale because my last three children were born in the same month, in the same week <laughs> of March. So I ran the 30% off for the entire month of March and um, I was just preparing those orders. Now I know you guys are going to see phenomenal results because I myself have gone through the process of using this very oil and have seen great results. And also I have already been receiving some testimonials of past customers who've said that they've been seeing you know results so yeah so that clip before all of this was me preparing all the orders from the sale and i just want to say thank you to every single person who's made an order and also those who have been showing interest and again guys if you are interested in purchasing this oil definitely go ahead and send me an email it will be on the screen definitely send me an email so you can have your own bottle and you can start or even continue your personal hair growth journey. Now, in my previous video, I had mentioned um, ending my three-year lock journey. Now, although it wasn't quite three years, it was about two years and nine months, you know, I have, um, you know, done a video where I was talking about the length of my hair. And thanks to one of my subscribers who left a comment suggesting, you know, you know maybe if you pull your hair out it may be longer etc and i thought hmm interesting let's see if that would be the case because after all i've always wanted to have long hair ever since i was a little girl if you guys have been on my channel for a good amount of time you will know that that was something i've spoken about in previous videos that when i was a little girl i always wanted to have long hair so when um sable 711 um, left that comment it inspired me even more and when I did my two and a half year lock update video you guys had suggested um 71% of you suggested that I should comb my locks out even though 71% of you said that I was still on the verge of cutting it off but then in the more recent video with my locks you know doing the length check I was like okay yeah let me just go ahead and comb it out and see exactly how long my hair is okay so as you would have seen in Sunday's video I shared with you guys how long my hair was now before we get into finding out exactly how long my hair is right now I'm gonna show you some clips of me measuring my hair when I was actually in the process of pulling out my locks so let's have a look at how long my hair measured then and find out how long it actually measures now
So the reason why I wanted us to have a look at that is because as you would have seen again in my previous video, I did speak about losing a lot of hair. So even though my hair measured about 14 and a half inches, is that what my hair length is right now? And to be honest, I really don't know because I haven't even measured my hair since. So we are gonna find out today, right now, actually how long my hair is. All right, so let me find out how long my hair is now. So roughly my hair is about 10 inches long and obviously from the previous clips that we just looked at I was measuring 14 to 14 and a half inches in length so with that you could say that I definitely lost four to four and a half inches of hair um, you know when it came to you know when I finished pulling out my locks but even though my hair is um, showing up 10 inches right now um, I do plan on trimming off some of these dead ends, these miserable looking ends of mine. So I am thinking to take off about an inch because I literally just want to have some healthy hair strands. And as we all know, split ends or damaged ends or any ends like that that's looking straggly and anything of the sort is going to hinder your length retention. So let us talk about how I was able to retain this much length. Now the first thing I want to touch on as to why I was able to retain this much length is because of my lock journey. Now I'm not saying you need to go and lock your hair in order to um, retain length, but this is how my lock journey helps me. Now as you know, um, the more you manipulate your hair, like you know, combing it, styling it and all of that, you can actually sometimes break your hair and damage your hair in that way. So with having locks, I am not manipulating my hair strands on a daily basis or anything like that. The most I'm doing is retwisting my roots and by that point you know your roots are nice and strong um, and the older part of your hair which is the hair strands <laughs> that's not closest to your um, scalp is more prone to being weak and breaking and stuff like that so with my hair being locked I was able to avoid um, pulling on my hair and tugging at my hair and manipulating my hair on a consistent basis. So what I would definitely suggest if you want to maintain length or retain length is definitely minimize the amount of um, manipulation you are doing with your hair strands. And the second thing that allowed me to retain this much length is maintaining a hair regimen. Now, as you guys know, I have not always been 100% on point with my regimen, but I try my very best to, you know, make sure that I am at least doing them as often as I can, right? And I've always been very transparent with you guys as to why I'm not progressing so further um, as much as I should have been when it comes to my postpartum hair growth and stuff because I'm very honest with you guys like guys I have just been slacking I am not doing anything with my hair I've just been blah 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 and obviously as I mentioned as well um with the uh, pulling out my locks I was like literally not maintaining any form of um routine like that um, until I finally completed it and since March 12th I was able 
to start like consistent when I say consistent I'm like daily hardly missing days and I've been able to you know see some results like damn I wish I was doing this all along but obviously life do get in the way and sometimes you're not able to do the things that you really want to do but anyway maintaining a um, hair regimen is definitely key now um, currently my regimen consists of washing my hair every two weeks and I am oiling my scalp on a daily basis and I'm also maintaining my moisturizing routine and having a moisturizing routine is definitely key because if your hair is not moisturized it will be dry and become brittle and break and then your hair will seem like it's not growing so maintaining a moisturizing routine is key definitely at the top of everything well I mean those are the two things that I have been doing in order to maintain or retain the length that I have low manipulation and moisturizing my hair so those are the top two things I would say you need to follow through on if you want to retain your hair um, retain your hair retain the length of your hair right um because i mean i have seen some videos where people are giving like six tips ten tips all of these different tips and sometimes it can be overwhelming right so i'm like listen i only did these two things and this is what worked for me so if you just want something really simple just keep those two things at the forefront of your mind just maintain um, a hair regimen and also low manipulation very minimal <laughs> very minimal manipulation of your hair strands okay guys so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did then make sure to keep it popping in the comments below and until next week why is it's not next week the week after i'll be back with another update